Welcome to Speaking Repeat Sentence, the introduction session. Uh, we'll have a look at what this question type is about, the basics, and then we are also going to see what are the things that we need to keep in mind to score well at it. So, the essentials first, the basics. There'll be 10 to 12 questions of this type, all right? And it's very simple. You'll hear an audio, you'll hear a short sentence, which will be three to nine seconds long. And then as soon as the sentence ends, what you have to do is you have to um, uh, just you know, repeat it into the microphone. So you, you have to pay attention when you listen, and then you have to be ready to just repeat it. All right, the, the other thing that I uh, want you to know, keep it in mind, is that there won't be any tone uh, which will indicate that the microphone has opened up okay so since you know there are a number of these questions and they come one after another quite fast so you have to be ready to um, you know as uh, to speak as soon as the audio ends and the sentence you know it, it, it will start playing uh, after a three seconds countdown so in those three seconds make sure that you know you're fully focused so uh, Stop thinking about the earlier sentence that you heard and with a fresh mind in those three seconds, you know, focus yourself on the sentence that you are about to hear. Okay, so this is what the screen will look like. The box at top is the audio box you know, where, where the audio will play. So uh, it, it will have a three seconds countdown and after that, uh, you know, the audio will start playing and the progress bar will start moving. As soon as that ends, you know, the box at the bottom, that will become active and the microphone will open up, all right? So it, it will start recording. Uh, keep it in mind that if you pause for more than three seconds, the microphone uh, will close down, it will shut down, all right? So uh, don't hesitate, you know, don't pause for too long. Uh, just try to say, just try to speak what you have just heard. So this is a test of your listening and speaking skills. You'll give get marks for both of these skills uh, from this question type, so that's very good. Now, uh, how to score well at this? So the very first thing, um, you don't have to try to copy the accent of the speaker or you know you don't have to try to mimic the speaker. Okay, you can say it in your accent and you can say it in your way. The more, most important thing is that you should be clear. All right? And uh, you have to try to capture, you know, the mood of the speaker, you know, what, what, what is the speaker trying to convey and, you know, which words is he emphasizing on, you know, what's important in that sentence. And you have to be able to convey that as well when you speak. All right. That's important. It's not important that you, uh, you know, try to capture the accent or, you know, just try to copy the speaker. Don't try to do that. Pronunciation is very important and the order in which you say the words, that's very important. So that's why, you know, try to understand what the sentence is about. If you understand the sentence, if you understand the meaning of it, then, you know, when you remember some words, you'll be able to put together in which order they have to go logically. All right. So that's that's very important. And yeah, uh, if, if you think there was a word, you know, which was too difficult, and you, you you know you probably have not heard of it before or you thinking that the pronunciation is difficult then just try to guess that okay so for example uh, let's just take this word pronunciation if the word pronunciation is difficult for you just say you know pronounce or whatever you know comes to your mind it's better than not saying anything at, at all and it's better than you know just getting stuck at that uh, part of the sentence so uh, the pace, that's very important. So don't just rush through the sentence, you know, don't just be super fast and also don't be super slow. Okay, you have to speak it at a normal pace. Uh, don't worry, there'll be enough time. If you uh, have been able to understand the sentence and if you have been able to remember it, you will have enough time to, uh, you know, repeat that sentence as well. So make sure that the meaning is not lost. All right. Uh, again, uh, you know, these skills, uh, it's important that, you know, you practice them every day, you know, before the exam day. So let, let's say if you've got a month to your exam, so get into the habit of, you know, practicing, putting in some time every day on your basic skills. 
uh, you know, improving your listening, improving your writing, uh, improving your reading, or, or improving your speaking. So, just you know, uh, th there's a very easy way to practice this. So, if, if you hear the news, you know, or you hear any audios on the internet, on YouTube, or you know, on our Facebook page, we uh, post a lot of material that is helpful in this practice. So, uh, anywhere you get get that material, you know, just try to repeat it after that. Okay, so it's very easy to get this practice, and even if you do that, you know, 10 minutes every day in the morning, it will add up and it will make a big difference to your score in the longer term. All right, so with that, uh, you are now ready um, to start practicing. Uh, a lot of these concepts, the things that we discuss, will become clearer, you know, more and more as we practice. So please go to the practice set number one and all the best.